Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. In the last episode, we did everything we could do over in Hundred Acre Wood and uh, completed it entirely. Seriously, we're entirely done with Hundred Acre Wood. We never need to go back. We 100%ed it in Jimmy's journal. So now we can move on to the Assault of the Dreadnought because we need to go to Twilight Town. That is one of the last worlds that we actually have remaining. Now, uh, I actually did something off screen, which is I made a new gummy ship. I will include a, a video on how to make something like this. This is called a donut ship. It is super popular. People run these types of ships all the time. Seriously, all the time. Uh, and you can do a lot of things with it. This is just kind of a starter thing to get us through this mission really easily. Uh, but don't worry, I will have a very in-depth guide on gummy ships. Either way, we are using this really ugly, really ugly donut ship to uh, do this gummy mission called Assault of the Dreadnought, which can be pretty annoying. However, w uh, when you have this thing, yeah, that's true. If you take damage, your metal levels Let's will increase. Go. If you hit 30 metal levels, you enter Berserk mode, which means you do a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, so we are just going to sit like this. Now, the reason why um, you always, why people tend to always do um, what this is called, which is the donut ship, is because most of the things in this game will tend to hit uh, your middle. It always aims for the middle of your ship. If you don't have a middle of your ship, you won't get hit. I'm dead serious. That's as simple as it is. Uh, if you don't have a middle, they can't hit you. I'm not even joking. I wish I was. Uh, but that is why this ship in particular is so strong and why so many speedrunners and all this other jazz actually end up using it because you can do a lot of things that you normally wouldn't be able to do um, in, uh, in you know, other other ships, which is kind of nice. So this gummy ship is kind of annoying, this gummy ship mission, but we can jump into it and get it done regardless. It is probably, I think, one of the coolest ones. You can see all these nobody ships all over the place now. Uh, we actually haven't really dealt with any of these, so this is kind of cool to deal with. For metals, we're doing okay. We're not uh, as high as we could be. And again, we don't have many guns on this actual weapon, so we aren't actually able to do as much damage as most donut ships would either. But again, this is just a quick one that I made real quick. Uh, we haven't done a gummy ship in for, or a gummy ship mission on video in a long time, actually. A long, long time. Uh, but you can see that we can just kind of clear this stuff up pretty easily. We're not really having any issues. See? See that attack? That would have hit us if we were a normal ship. Uh, but because of the donut ship, it didn't even touch us. See that? Beautiful, beautiful. We're already at 18 medals, which is pretty nice. We're more than halfway uh, halfway to hitting Berserk, which is awesome. You kind of need Berserk if you want to get high, uh, high levels on this. But that's okay. We're not really needing that right now. So again, we need to watch out for all these. If you get hit by those, it will lower your um, your metal rates. We actually just lost two uh, because we got hit by the doors closing, which is unfortunate, but not that big of a deal. Uh, but see, you can just look at how much damage we're able to do without even having a full a full blown donut ship. It's actually kind of cool. These you just have to attack the doors before you fly through, so that you can go ahead and get these. And we're just gathering all of these as much as we can. Uh, and just kind of doing some damage, gathering these metals and these these coins. Doesn't matter. All you have to do is survive this. It's not like it's one of the 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 missions that you can actually do. You actually have to do the gummy ship mission first uh, to be able to. Oh, I forgot. So this one's got a combination uh, of uh, whoa, a combination one. Uh, looks like I'm just gonna fail horribly, and not be able to get any medals or berserk mode. I mean, maybe if we're lucky, we'll be able to. I don't know. Look at this. Isn't this cool? And if you're able to destroy the core just like that, you will actually destroy the entire ship. How cool is that, man? How cool is that? Root opens. Open missions one and two. And we got a new high wind thing, and who cares? Cost limit upgrade, which is exactly what we needed. And we got a completion bonus for treasures. Not a big deal. But that does open the way, of course, to Twilight Town. And also, look at this. I love this. I think it's so cool. Uh, the little gummy ship area, and it looks like something out of Star Wars, and I love that. Let's head to Twilight Town, a battle level 47 worlds. Hey, I think we're almost there. Huh? 
gorge. Aren't we here because of the picture? Look, I'll show you. Wow, this is wild. Come on, let's go find this mansion. Yeah. Yeah. So first, I recommend saving. And uh, maybe double checking to make sure you got everything, which you probably did. Uh, we also need to save our, or change our items because we are still, unfortunately, using the stupid, stupid butt, uh, whatever it's called. Instead, we need to be back to our device, a decisive pumpkin, just because it's so strong. And we're just going to head on out, man. Uh, and as soon as we leave, we're actually going to be attacked by, you guessed it, you guessed it right here and now, nobodies. Uh, we'll go ahead and wreck these, but then we need to be careful because, of course, dragoons are going to launch. Because this isn't a, uh, a easy peasy game, this is a hard game. So, right there, I'm going to cast Magnet just so that I'm allowed to actually, you know, hit these guys without them ruining my day, uh, in any way, shape, or form. And we can, for the most part, just ruin these dragoons. No problem. And they also gave so much experience for that little tiny fight that we just had with them. I'm gonna just cure him as well. You're welcome, guys. Don't forget, we did get that cure upgrade. Right over here, though, we're gonna head down into the underground area. We have not been able to head down into the underground concourse ever. And one of the things that we wanna do while we're here is we actually wanna head uh, towards four. That is like the area we wanna go to. Uh, but there is stuff that we can get down here that, yet again, we just haven't been able to get at all. Including a sunset puzzle piece. We can also jump down here, beat these guys if we so choose. Now, these are gamblers, which are actually a, uh, uh, a pretty, uh, important enemy. Um, and are, are very, very useful for actually leveling our master form. Unfortunately, this really isn't the position in which we are going to fight them. Uh, but they are also going to be a, a really great way to get money going forward. Money and leveling our, uh, our master form. Don't worry, I'm going to show that all off later. But that is the first time that we've actually seen any of them. So I thought I would just point that out now. Um, that is our first encounter ever with the gambler nobody. Uh, well, no, that's not true, I guess. Because we did see them. We did see them sort of, when we were at uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean, Port Royal. Uh, we don't really have a, there will be a limit form, or a drive form that we will be getting later. I don't want to spoil what it is, but we'll be getting one later that will actually require us to kill a ton of nobodies. Um, so I'm not really, like, too worried about grinding that out right now. It is something that you should do at some point. Uh, right there, we got another one. Uh, oh, I didn't explain it, but I should. The Gambler minigame, you notice that I stopped the dice on a circle? That's how you win. Oh, perfect! And Sora leveled up! Oh, that's so good. So we don't want to head over there. We actually want to head all the way to Concourse 4. Or Area 4, anyways. That's, that's the idea here. Uh, that is where we will be able to continue this area. Or continue the story, I should say, uh, on where we need to go. But I think for the most part, we got everything we could down here right now. This will bring us out to the common, which is pretty useful. Um, I'm trying to think if there is anything else that we should grab while we're over there. Let's double check because I think I might have forgot something. Okay, so I did totally forget something right off the bat. Uh, so there's this chest right here. Okay, well, let me get off the skateboard. Thank you. Uh, there is an AP boost and a, another uh, sunset puzzle piece that we can grab right there. There we go. That's everything I wanted to get, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Uh, we are actually looking very, very good on our puzzle pieces. Uh, again, these are gamblers. If we want to wait, we can play the minigame um, and just wait. Oh, unfortunately, I hit X, which is unfortunate. Uh, and then I'll just go ahead and skip this a little bit. That was kind of annoying. We can go back and battle these guys again if we want. Unless they're gone. They might be gone now. Okay, whatever. Uh, so we did get everything we needed here. So we can actually just... Oh. Uh, Alright, let's wait. We'll begin the game. We want to wait until... There we go. Get some free money real quick. Why not? Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and end this guy. So I just wanted to point out that there are different mini games that you can do. And also those nobodies give a thousand experience each. Which is pretty crazy. I actually want to head to Sunset Terrace. Which is not this way, of course. That leads to the Tram Common. I'm trying to think of where to uh, the quickest way to get to the Sunset Terrace is, and it's got to be one of these, and I forget which one. Is it two? Might be two. This leads to the tunnel way, uh, which is where we um, oh, which is where we originally uh, encountered those VB clones that we fought earlier. So this is exactly where we needed to go. So we need to go down into two. Uh, and this is this is actually perfect for us because there's a lot that we need to grab here. Uh, unfortunately, okay, let's see if we can. Oh god! 
Okay, perfect. I was a little worried. That was a little sketchy right there. We can go ahead and grab this treasure chest, which has an aura calcum and another puzzle piece. We have so many puzzle pieces. We've gotten so many in the past couple of episodes, uh, which is nice. It's good for us. Uh, so we want to head over here, and I'm, I'm like, pretty sure this will lead to where we need to go. Um, I'm actually leaving my health where it is just so that we can get that extra thousand experience points for that one um, And then these guys I'm just gonna cast magnet and just finish them off again I'm not really skipping any of these fights because that's 777 That's just a lot. It's a lot of experience guys For really quick easy enemies to kill those dust giving that much. That's crazy right there We can get a mithril crystal and now we want to head out to here Sunset Terrace. We have not actually been here as Sora, which means there is a ton of stuff that we have never gotten before that we can get now. Which is pretty nice, including this chest right over here, which contains an AP boost. I love how much uh, exploring is actually going into this particular episode compared to the, any of the ones that we've really done recently. Uh, rumors are going around about Seven Wonders and since they're easily explained. Yeah, we know that actually. I'm pretty sure we've like talked to that NPC before. So up here is an area that you can save. It is where the train comes. We can talk to this person. Youngsters walk through the tunnels instead of taking the train, but I'm too old to do that. It's true, we did do that. It's actually because there's no train for us to take right now, which is unfortunate. But we can, you know, head over here and, and check out this whole area. There is actually, um, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually some more areas, more stuff that we can grab here. And one of the ways to do that is to jump up here and grab this puzzle piece, which is another sunset puzzle piece. And then right across the way is a, another, another little Aura Calcum Plus that we can grab. And then I thought, no, that was just the light. Uh, and then there's another chest right down here that we can go ahead and grab a Mithril Crystal, just kind of as we work our way through. Um, I don't think there's anything down here. No. Okay. Thought so. Uh, and there is one more thing that I wanted to grab. I could have sworn there was a puzzle piece over here. Maybe not. Maybe not. Hmm. Is it over here? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay. So there was a puzzle piece here. This is the one I was looking for. I want to jump onto this wall, though. Thank you. Oh, that did not work. That was weird. Did you guys see that? It, like, aerial dashed me instead of jumping off of the wall. Which is unfortunate. Ah, oh, hang on. Okay, so I know how we have to grab that. So what we have to do is what we did uh, similar to when we were in 100 Acre Wood. Uh, which is... As soon as I can do this. So we have to uh, customize this real quick just so that we can jump. Which is unfortunate that we have to do it this way, but... It is what it is. Uh, so we'll jump. And then fire! There we go, and we got the sunset puzzle piece. Anytime you use magic, typically fire works the best, although you could use, I guess you could use magnet, but I don't. Uh, I just count on fire, uh, just because it, it ends up being probably the best for us to actually easily get those. And right here is kind of a tucked away chest. You can kind of miss it if you're not coming from that way. Another mithril shard. Uh, we're doing pretty good, actually, on um, uh, a lot of these. And then we can head up here. Again, it's a question mark thing because Sora has never been here. But if you guys remember, like, a year ago, we were here as that guy Roxas. Which is pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. There's also a couple puzzle pieces here that we can grab, uh, including this one that's just right on the bench. Another sunset puzzle piece. All right. And we got one more sitting right here, which is a one and only another sunset puzzle piece. Oh, my God. That's crazy. You know, actually, now's a good time to go into our journal and, uh, and, oh, no, uh, go into our journal and perhaps look at these pieces. Uh, we have a ton left in Twilight Town, which is kind of unfortunate, uh, but we, we can get those at some point. So I want to check something real quick and go to the actual, uh, puzzle pieces here, uh, puzzle mode. Um, and I'm thinking we might, yeah, so we actually have this one done. So let's finish this up real quick. Look at that. Nice and easy. We get a Manifest Illusion, a possibly magical ore. A Manifest Illusion. I think that's the first one we've gotten. So we finished Duality, we finished Hearts, we finished Awakening. All of those ones were pretty easy, and we just finished Frontier, which is nice. Now we can see if we can do Daylight. I don't think so. This one looks like it might have just a little bit to do. This is the Chain of Memories puzzle, so you can actually do a lot of these based on what you know from the, uh, the characters. 
or from the the box art of certain things which is you know nice and kind of easy to do uh just throwing that out there so we made pretty decent progress on this puzzle it is uh obviously not even close to done yet but you know it, it's getting there it's getting there at least and at least we're making at least we're making a solid dent into it yeah uh it's looking not awful i mean there's obviously some things that are a little bit not quite there uh but those puzzle pieces at least go together we know that obviously that one goes together so we have some pieces that are kind of working uh but you know not entirely um obviously that one doesn't go there or anything uh actually i think he goes here yeah there we go that'll work a little bit better and then, yep okay look at that guys we are making progress of course these guys don't go anywhere near here uh but that's okay we are these guys go here so this is good this is good we just have a few more pieces left of that one and uh and we'll be done uh let's check out and see if i can fast forward through a little bit of this part yeah we're nowhere cl near close to done on the sunset one but that's okay uh we we can obviously see that we have a lot left there's a ton in radiant garden that we can get uh there's a few in beast castle a lot of these by the way are in the cave of remembrance so we can't actually get them right now uh just because mostly i'm afraid to go there uh but i thought i would just point that out while we have so many now if i'm not mistaken actually this is a good time to look at so we have all the maps it's the treasures here in twilight town we're actually missing a a bunch of those and i can tell you right now we have all the ones from this area as far as i'm aware um all of these are done so we can actually leave here go back into one uh, go back and use the tunnels again just to get out of here because now we actually want to use we want to go through the tunnel way we're going to skip all of these in fact uh, because I want to continue on with the story uh, so we're going to skip these guys and we're going to head back uh, because we want to go and talk to our friends so what we need to do is go out through concourse 4 again which is where I was originally heading before because uh, I was actually going to skip going to sunset terrace but then I was like you know what item wise it makes more sense uh, just to do that right there look how much we get from those guys yeah. and oh look at that free money oh free money baby free money just so easy to grab those Ooh, what did we just get we got a nobody guard oh that is a weapon for Donald uh, for goofy and we can actually look at that right now that's actually super rare uh, but we got a nobody guard which is huge what an increase for him man what an increase a shield with a great strength restores MP relative to the amount of damage taken. The Nobody Guard is actually super good. I'm so glad we just got that randomly. That's so nice for us. Uh, but we do want to head right out here to the Tram Common. Uh, where you want to head now is actually kind of dependent on what you want to do. Um, you could, of course, talk to some of these shops if you so choose. Uh, again, these are dancers, though. I don't want to deal with any dancers right now. Um... We want to head through the woods. That is... Oh, shoot, shoot. That is actually the ideal right now, is to go through the woods. Uh, but what we could do before we do any of that, is we can actually head this way and go into the hideout. That Roxas, Hainer, Pence, Olette, they all had. That's actually not where we need to go. Um, there's nothing actually there. But you'll notice that there's nobody around. It's as if the town is quiet uh we are actually going to for the most part uh whoa that actually worked a lot better than i thought it would i kind of thought that that samurai was going to be the end of us uh he wasn't so we're gonna head into the back alley here and yep kill that because it's a free thousand experience and then we're gonna head into the usual spot not the hideout why did i say the hideout but no one's here i just came here to save real quick and now we need to head to the mansion because don't forget uh that is where that is the reason why we're in Twilight Town, because of that picture, remember? I know it was like so long ago that they, these guys even talked about it, but it's still worth doing. And again, equipping something like Lucky Lucky or, or any of that jazz is going to help a lot right now. Um, unfortunately, we can't get that piece just yet. Don't worry, we will be able to later. Uh, we just can't grab it right now. So these dancers are gonna keep spawning every single time like if you if you go that far away uh, They'll keep spawning, but that's okay because they're both dead. Uh, that was actually really quick You could jump on a skateboard and make this part super easy and just you know walk away. Uh, we're just gonna We're just gonna walk over just cuz I can There will be a prime time to level up very very soon trust me guys uh, So I'm kind of avoiding it for now and heading towards the woods Now that we're now that we're so close uh, I'm just gonna warp snipe this so that I don't die. Uh, uh, warp snipe again. Why, might as well warp snipe whenever you're fighting those guys, just because you can easily just kill the nobodies that they're with every single time. So that didn't quite work out how I wanted, but that's okay. 
Let's go ahead and kill this sniper real quick, just so that he stops attacking us. All right, now we can go this way. Thanks, game. To the old mansion. Hey, are you all right? What happened? We came here looking for Kyrie. Then those white things attacked us. You're gonna be careful. Yeah, you guys didn't have to go and do that. Of course we did. Kyrie's our friend too, you know. You're right. You know, I never thought of it like that before. Word is, this mansion gets a lot of really strange visitors. We thought this place might be the gateway to some kind of alternate Twilight Town. What do you mean, alternate Twilight Town? Hey, Goofy, do you think we could see that crystal of yours? I made that pouch myself, and I still have it. So, there shouldn't be two of them here. And this is the trophy Cypher gave you. You left it behind, remember? It's the only one of its kind. Same for the crystals. Red, blue, yellow, green. Only one of each color. But you've got your own. So, where'd you get it? Um... The pouch is from the king. When he gave us money for the train ride, he gave us the crystal too. But then, where did the king get it? See? There's gotta be another town out there like this one. That would explain how the king got that pouch and the crystal. Everything makes sense. It does? That other town must be where whatever's missing from here went. Like Kyrie. I get it. Yeah, King Mickey! You thought it would be easy. Fight alongside King Mickey and defeat all of the nobodies. So, of course, we're gonna pop the good old magnet spell. I don't know if you guys are getting that audio pop that I'm getting, but I, I, I keep getting it. I'm not entirely sure if that's um, happening on just my end or on the recording as well. So, I do apologize if you guys can hear that. Uh, it is what it is, man. Uh, so, all you need to do is defeat these Heartless and call it a day. Throw it away. It's actually not too bad considering the Heartless that are spawning right now are, you know, nothing nothing to uh, be afraid of. And Sora already hit level 43. I feel like two seconds ago we just hit level 42. The power of defeating nobodies, man. You just get so much experience from these guys. Now, these, these Samurais, Samu Samurai is where I definitely, definitely want to use that Magnet spell, uh, just so that we can defeat these guys as easy as possible, and just get them out of the way. Just keep them contained, man. That's that's what Magnet's all about, keeping your enemy contained, especially enemies like this that can just destroy you. Uh, but luckily, I'm going to dual stance here. Oh, baby. And Donald gets Lucky Lucky, which is one of the last Lucky Luckies we can get in the game. I got something to tell you. I found out where Ansem is. Ansem the Wise, the real Ansem. He snuck into Organization 13 Stronghold. And we've figured out where Kyrie is. I'm pretty sure we're right. But why'd you all come here? Someone gave us a clue. Who? Well, Your Majesty, Sora thinks it might have been Riku. It's just a feeling I had. Well, if that's what you think, then it's probably right. You mean Riku's okay? If that's what you think. I've waited long enough, Your Majesty. Tell me what you know. It's not for me to say. But Your Majesty, why? I don't want to break my promise. You made a promise to Riku? So he's okay. I can see him again. Huh? Who's Riku? My best friend. That's it. Your Majesty, you got the pouch with the crystal from Riku, didn't you? And you promised not to tell, right? Gosh, guys. That's enough! Yeah, let's go. Kairi, Riku, we're on our way. 
We're on our way. Let's talk to Hainer. I bet you can get to the other Twilight Town through this mansion. The other Twilight Town. Well, that explains a whole darn lot, doesn't it? Let's head in. This place has to be keeping some kind of secret. Why don't you guys stay out here and let me focus on this? Now, we did get the chest in the courtyard, which is nice. This mansion's freaky. It feels like monsters are lurking in there. They might be. They might be. Riku's going to be so mad at me. Still, we have to hurry and search the mansion. All right. I believe that's everything we can get out here. I don't think there's any... Pu oh, there is, of course, a puzzle piece out here. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Uh, now, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think there is a way to get up there. Uh, it's not like we can, like, jump on these and then, and then, uh, and then get up there. As far as I know... <sighs> listen, listen. Yeah. Eh, no. Okay, we can come and get that later. I know how we can get it later. So we'll, we'll get that puzzle piece later. Let's head into the mansion. There's gotta be a computer somewhere. A computer? Do you think it's connected to that other Twilight Town? It might be. And there might should be a way into the realm of darkness there. Riku told you that, didn't he? Uh, uh, please, Sora, I made a promise. Ha, I knew it! Hey, stop pestering the ki- Yeah, seriously, guys. Right, sorry. I want his keyblade. I remember when I first played this game, I was convinced that eventually I would get King Mickey's keyblade. I never did. Right there, we can get a mithril crest crystal. These are some of the last treasure chests we can actually get in Twilight Town. Uh, so that's nice. It's nice to get to that point, you know what I mean? I like doing that. There should be a computer leading to another world in this mansion. I'm sure if we look hard enough, we'll find it for sure. For sure, man. This place is falling apart. There's supposed to be a computer in this raggedy mansion? Uh, yeah. Let's head into this room. Check it out. Oh, but we got some gamblers, which is actually pretty cool for us. Um, we are going to wait and get a bunch of money. Now, again, this is a wonderful time to actually, you know, activate your master mode, uh, your master drive form, and, uh, and, and, uh, use your Sweet Memories Keyblade, and actually convert all of this money into drive orbs. That is the fastest way, like I was saying, to actually level, uh, Sora's master form. It really is, it, far and away, the easiest way to do so. Uh, so right there, we got a Mithril Crystal. And then right over here, we can grab a mithril stone. So much mithril. And then we can head out of here. But it's so cool that we are already fighting, like, the enemies that we'll be fighting. I mean, this is the end of the game, really, if you think about it. Uh, so right there, we got a serenity crystal. I actually want to head into this room first before we go any further. Um, this is probably where I want to go just for now. So I want to check it out. Nope, this is not where I want to go. This is where we do want to go, which of course means I don't want to go there right now. So let's cast Magnet, uh, just so that we can get these guys in there, and then hopefully be able to finish these Dragoons off before they- Okay, cool, awesome. Uh, and we got that thousand experience for doing so. Right here, we grab an Aura Calcum. This statue is staring at the floor. Interesting, it's almost like the floor disappears. The floor is gone. Just as if Roxas did that for us. Uh, so this is actually the way I want to go, just so that we can get all of the chests first. Because, again, we're so, we're, we're, might as well, right? Uh, we can't get that treasure, that piece yet, that treasure, that puzzle piece. I don't know if you saw it, but it was sitting there. Uh, but we can get this one, which is the sunset puzzle piece. We can also save the game here, if you so choose. That's actually one of the reasons why I said that activating master mode and doing that that thing uh, isn't a terrible idea, uh, just because... Uh-oh. I didn't mean to do that, but... Yeah, we're close. We're close, man. No cigar, though. Uh, it's almost like if we had Glide from the first game, we'd be able to do it. It's almost like that, isn't it? Interesting. So let's head into the mansion library. And we'll just head right down here and defeat these- oh my god. And defeat these guys, cast a Magnara! Because again, it's just needed so that we don't, you know, die. Uh, cool. Uh, so those guys are all dead. That is the only thing I believe we are getting very- uh, again, we're gonna cast Magnet. Just to hold them there. And then just defeat these Dusks, especially with that half health that we're at. 774 damage every time we kill a Dusk. Or, 70, 774 experience? That's huge. Ah, we found 
found it. How does it work? I can handle it. Okay. Here we go. Oh. What's wrong? I can't go any further without a password. Do you have any idea what the password might be? Mm. Well, we only got this photo. Yeah, the one Donald ate up. It was in the box right next to the photo. Hey, that's it. And some the wise loved ice cream. Okay, what's the name of the flavor? Hmm, I wonder, what is the name of the flavor? What's the name of the flavor? What's the name of the flavor? But first, let's actually head over here. You might remember this hallway, this area, the basement hall. It's actually pretty important. Now, we're actually going to skip, um... We're actually going to skip through this area, because I don't actually want to... That's exactly why I didn't want to fight those guys. Uh, th those guys can do a tremendous amount of damage. No, instead we actually want to come through here. We can actually defeat these real quick, especially if we use, you know, Magnara. Uh, just to shut down these guys. This is actually where we're going to be training uh, quite a bit. Um, real soon. Real soon. Like, seriously, real soon. Uh, because we can actually destroy these these Dancer Nobodies really quickly. Um, with a special trick that I'll be showing you guys in a second. Well, in a, in a soon episode, right there... We got the ultimate recipe, which is incredibly important because that is Sora's ultimate Keyblade weapon, uh, which we will be using we will be getting in this game, uh, which is going to be super cool because we're going to have a synthesizing guide and everything out for it. Right in here, you remember all these pods, right? I hope so because this is the pod room and a daylight puzzle piece. This is the pod Sora was sleeping in. Look at that. Now, if I'm not mistaken, let's go ahead and check the journal. That is all of the treasures uh, that we can get here in Twilight Town. Uh, I just wanted to make sure. So that's it. No more exploring for us here in Twilight Town. It's already done. The only thing that we have left is those puzzle pieces, which we know where the majority of them are. Don't forget, though, we also have a ton of mini games here that we need to complete. So I'm going to skip most of this area because, again, uh, those samurais can kind of ruin you. You don't want to fight them. You actually really don't. We'll go ahead and use this real quick. We can go ahead and talk to our friend Pence here. The password's the name of that ice cream. Okay, let's try sea salt ice cream. It worked. Let's go. We'll be here to hold down the fort. Say hi to Kyrie. You bet. Hmm. Looks like we could use this to touch the beam. Do we want to do that? Hmm. No. Not right now, we don't. Not right now. Yeah, you know what? Let's fit it into this episode, because I think we have time. Let's touch the beam. Are we back in the same place? This is the other Twilight Town. Roxas's Twilight Town. There's gotta be an entrance into the Dark Realm somewhere. Let's split up. And we get Secret Ansem Report number 10. We haven't really read any of those, but they do exist. Right there, we'll get another Daylight Puzzle piece. There's also a save point in here we can choose if we want. Uh, and there is more as well. We can talk to Mickey, who says, It may look the same, but this is different than where we just were. The enemy may attack at any time. Indeed. So, in the basement hall... We can see another scene. There. This is it. This is it. But we're not going to go through there just yet. No, we're not. Uh, because, well, it's just a little too scary for me right now. Something's not letting us leave. So you can't actually really go anywhere. You can't, like, explore. 
So, uh, I should show this. So if I was to be like, oh, I want to explore all of- Nope, can't do it. We have to use that spot over there. Uh, which we will do in the next part. We will examine that dark aura and head to the very final world of Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Thank you guys so much for watching. Showing up on screen right now is some links that you can click on to be brought to all of these different things all over the interwebs, including a link to patreon.com where for just a dollar a month, you can get early access to videos just like this one. Thank you guys for watching and remember, never give up, never surrender to nobodies.